Hello, my name is Chris, and I'm a customer service representative at NinjaTrader. In this video, I'll go over the basic entry window and its components. To open a new basic entry window from the control center, click New Basic Entry. Next, select your desired instrument using the Instrument drop down menu. Once selected, you can see the price data populating in the window. The market display section in the middle of the window displays the current best ask price, best bid price, and last price for the selected instrument, E-mini S&P 500 futures. The size of the orders at each price type can be found in the right hand column. If the last tick in any of the price fields was an uptick, the cell will be shaded green by default. And if the last tick was a down tick, the cell will be shaded red. The position display is directly beneath the market display and it shows the following position related information. Average entry price, quantity, trade direction, and profit and loss. The order entry section is located directly below the market display section. As I demonstrated earlier, the instrument drop down menu allows you to select your desired instrument. Just below is the account drop down menu used to select the appropriate account. You can use the type drop down menu to select the order type and then next enter additional information in the limit and stop fields. If necessary, um, the, the limit and stop fields will be grayed out for order types which do not require a limit or stop price. The TIF TIF field allows you to select the time in force for your order. Time in force refers to the period of time your order will remain active before it is either filled or canceled. By default, it's set to day, but it can also be configured so that your order is good to cancel or active until a custom date. You can adjust the order quantity with the quantity drop down menu set to one by default. You can also apply a saved ATM strategy template to the order or create a new ATM strategy by selecting custom from the ATM strategy drop down menu. Once all order parameters are set to your liking, use the buy or sell buttons above to place your order. Order submitted. After the order has been placed, it will appear in the order grid near the top of the window. The cells in the action column will be color coded based on the type of order listed. When an order is filled or canceled, it will be removed from this list. There are also a number of quick order entry action buttons, which save time by allowing you to bypass setting up order parameters manually. The buy ask button will immediately submit a buy limit order at the ask price. And the sell ask button will submit a sell limit order at the ask price. The buy bid and sell bid buttons will submit limit orders at the bid price. And the buy and sell market buttons will quickly submit a market order. The close button will close any open position on the selected instrument with a market order and will also cancel any open orders. Order canceled. After clicking close, the previously submitted buy limit order is now canceled and removed from the order grid. The reverse button will do the same as the close button, but will then submit a market order in the opposite direction to essentially reverse the position. Additionally, tabbed functionality allows you to utilize one basic entry window for several instruments. Simply click this plus button at the bottom of the window to add more tabs. Let us know what you thought of this video and be sure to subscribe for more NinjaTrader tips. Happy trading!